Pearl Tutorial Part 77 Hard References Now references refer to data items and we can dereference those references to access the data items. A reference is a bit like an address to the data item in memory so we can access the data item directly with references. So understanding references is going to help us in future tutorials when we get to data structures and databases. Let's first create a variable. of text. Now let's create a reference to this variable. So reference equals backslash and then our variable. And now if we want to print our reference to that variable Now, because our variable is a scalar, we dereference it with the dollar sign, and then we type the name of our reference. Now, let's run this. Prints out a string of text. Now, if we actually print the reference itself, so take out one of those, that's how Perl sees our string of text in memory. We can also create references to arrays, so array equals let's say the letters A to G. Create a reference like that. Now to print our reference like so. Let's run this A to G. Now if we print our actual reference Here we have the data in memory. Now let's create a hash. Now let's create a reference to our hash. Now let's print out our hash value for English. Now this is slightly different than what we've done above.
So we'll print our reference to our hash English value. Hello. And let's print our reference hash. Now let's create a subroutine. Here's a subroutine called subroutine and it's going to print I'm a subroutine. So now let's create a reference to our subroutine. Now instead of printing our subroutine, we should just run the reference to the subroutine so let's run this I'm a subroutine and that's a scalar value So that's hard references.